We are here with our beautiful patient, Nora. She's exactly six weeks out from a rhinoplasty and a chin implant. So Nora had a deviated septum that was fixed about 20 years ago. One of her main motivations for seeing us was that she still had issues with breathing. So we addressed the issues with her breathing, but in addition to that, we made some minor changes throughout her nose. We created some better balance in her profile with the relationship between her nose and her chin. So with regard to the nose, we created a little bit of slimming of the nose in the front view. She had a little bit of convexity to the bridge of the nose that we reduced. And finally, we created a little more projection and definition to the tip of her nose. And in profile, she needed just a little bit more chin projection to bring the nose and the chin into better balance. And so she's six weeks out right now, um, healing beautifully. And I think that we're beginning to see a beautiful end result. So Nora, how's the process been for you? I thought it was amazing. I thought the staff was so welcoming. I never felt rushed. I never felt that I was just another patient. I felt that I got the full attention of the staff and the doctor on what do I want? What are my concerns? You know, what is my ultimate vision? And I think I spent a lot of time to really detail what the look was that I was going for, the function that I was looking for. And I, we spent a lot of time, I would say, up front on expectations. We know what's possible, what would that consist of? And it's made a huge difference in how my look is and I can breathe really well now. It's like taking your phone to your face and looking at a filter and having it become exactly like that filter. And that was the first thing I said when we took off the cast was I feel like I'm looking at a filter on my phone. So everything that I wanted, you know, slimming this bridge, I had a tiny little bump here. My bone structure came out pretty wide. And as you said, it was taking up real estate on my face. So now I just feel so contoured and feminine, um, especially with the chin. I never would have thought this is anything I had to do. I must say he went above and beyond. So I'm really happy. And I, I've been meeting with him every single week since the surgery. So I felt supported and actually within 24 hours of the first, you know, when you're coming out of surgery, I came in the office, he checked his work. Um, he called me every single day personally. It wasn't his staff to ask me how I'm doing, if I had any questions or concerns or things I was looking at. I just, I always felt like I'm getting the full attention and there's no rush. They're gonna do whatever is needed to make sure I have the best recovery and result. and. And I've healed very fast because I followed their instructions down to the diet, down to the rest, down to what to do and not do. And I, I know I picked the best person, the best person. And here in Miami, in our hometown, I thought I had to fly to Turkey or I had to fly to LA and go to Beverly Hills. And the best person is sitting here in my backyard. So I, I'm so glad I did all my Nora Knows Best homework and I found the best person who really went above and beyond. Uh, we we really appreciate those kind words. I I swear I didn't tell her to say that. He but, did not. Oh uh, <laughs> uh, no, we we really appreciate that. But you've been a wonderful patient. Thank it's you. been uh, it's been so nice getting to know you during this uh, journey. Thank and, you. And um, you know we're here for you every step of the way. Thank you so much. So.